Hey everybody, this is Casey Addington, also known as Agent 50 on Ingress. Um, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a couple things. I uh, was chatting with some friends, uh, you know, kind of coming up with, you know, little plans and stuff and just, you know, the general uh, chatter that goes on behind the scenes of Ingress. Um, and I noticed, you know, some interesting things as far as Intel goes. Uh, there's a couple of apps out there and you know they're, they're questionable and, and they, they brought it up to, to my attention you know some people use something some people use others a lot of people just use the regular Intel map which is you know kind of what I'm a fan of but I wanted to check these out just to see what the you know the features and what what would be so good about them um, so I'm gonna start off with this is gonna be a two-part video uh, first part is going to be IITC. There's a, a handful of people I know who are big fans of it. So this right here is IITC. Um, when you log on, you're going to have to put in your Google information. And I uh, don't know exactly what that's used for, but, you know, I mean, it, it imports some of your settings. Okay, so this is uh, where I used to live in St. Louis, right? Let me zoom out a little bit here. Okay, now I'm going to go over some of the features um, about this. Uh, one thing that I really do like that is quite a bit different from, you know, the, the Intel map is this right here. You can change to different, you know, styles. So you got MapQuest or you got Google. That's very cool. Um, it's not, it doesn't load up the best. It's, you know, it's very similar just to the regular Intel as far as how, you know, load times and everything like that. So, this is more commonly what you're going to see. Um, right here in the upper right hand corner, you've got this little bar. Gives you a handful of uh, different options. Right? Um, links, fields, you can turn that all off. Now that's very, that's very, that's cool and it's not cool. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's helpful uh, to, to plan your route and everything. Um, but, you know, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, also, it has an auto update. So every time you move somewhere, it's going to update the thing for you. Let me zoom way out. Oh, see, there, that's... Now what's nice about that is that, you know, you don't have to keep resetting it or anything. What's not nice about it is you're going to sit here and wait for, for it to load and the little blinky squares to come up, which I don't, I'm not really a big fan of the squares. Um, so over here in this, we've got, let's see, now you got resistance enlightened you can just turn those off um, I'm not sure what this debug data tiles is but you know I mean maybe somebody could throw it down in the comments if they want um, artifacts which you know those are pretty uncommon to see anyway so okay and uh, all the different types of levels of portals that you want to have shown I'm gonna go ahead and keep these back on though so we can go and look now, if you look here, you'll see down here on the bottom, it says L2 plus. It gives you the lowest, basically, uh, uh, the, the lowest level of the portal that you're going to be looking at. Um, right next to that, tap here for info screen. And it gives you some little, uh, oh, you can share your portals and view selected portals and so on and so forth. They give you a whole bunch of little hints in here um, not sure what the permalink does but uh, you know I'm, I'm sure whatever it is it's pretty sweet okay so also it's got your little chat window in here oh I want to talk to people so you know same kind of thing just it's it's more or less the way I see this is is kind of like a a skinned version of um, the actual Ingress Intel. 
so it's uh I mean it's nice it's nice there's there's definitely a lot of good things about it um let's see uh let me look at my notes here right I went over this I'm not really sure what the difference between full and compact I guess it just makes it like a shorter list um public faction so I mean it's just like the uh the intel um oh here we go so you can tap on a portal and you can see down here in the lower hand side it tells you you know the percentage um I guess you know how much it's degenerated and it gives you the level and you can also see like the little colors right on top there uh, I guess those re represent what the uh, resonators that it has on it then you can hit it right there and it brings up this little thing tells you what you can do with it oh and look you've got this thing right here and what's cool about this is it automatically shows you that there's no mods to this and you have the button right there to share the portal let's take a look at this okay so this gives you a oh there's a, a portal shield in a turret and you know gives you all the the, the information right about the uh, about the portal so that's very cool that's one of one of probably the coolest thing about it because in the regular Intel map you got to switch and you know push a little button that says mods and then you got that pop-out window that you know you try to move around and, and you just can't get it to go away because you end up clicking on another portal and you're like what why why is this happening to me okay things now now here comes my you know little criticisms you know the and I want to make this fair because I'm going to give criticisms uh, when it comes to the next one too but um, one thing that I don't like uh, as I go right here okay so you see resistance enlightened up here at the top you have an un unclaimed portals thing right here right so I should see some kind of unclaimed portal well just like the other one um, the other uh, uh, the regular Intel it doesn't really have um, you know it, it doesn't show the unclaimed portal unless you're like really really zoomed in I don't even know if this is enough uh, I know there's some around here somewhere but as far as like refresh time and everything I guess it's you know it's it's not bad um, but that's one thing that bothers me you know if you're gonna have a little check mark button for the you know the unclaimed portals um, it'd be nice to be able to see where they are without having to zoom in and scroll and refresh and scroll and refresh I mean if you're using a, a data plan and you don't have a whole lot of data then you could be eating it up so that's one thing um, Okay, another thing I don't like about this, um, if you search for it, it's not on the Play Store. It's not it's not associated with the Play Store, and I don't know why they've they've chosen that route, or if they've been taken off the Play Store, or what what the deal is with that. But um, you know, one of the things alerted to me, uh, somebody told me, hey, why don't you uh, check this out and you know check out IITC? That's what everybody else uses. Um, because if you use other stuff, you might get you might get banned from the game because they don't allow third-party apps. Well, this is a third-party app. Uh, it's it's it was not made by uh, what Niantic or or whatever the company name is, and they put in their you know little terms of service that okay, well, you know you want to use other stuff, then um, we're gonna have you know some kind of uh, uh, ban on it, you know, and there were people being banned for just having IITC originally. So, um, I guess there was too much information being transferred or something like that. Um, also, you have to put in your Google password. I'm not a huge fan of that. 
um, going to a third party, but at the same time, and, and especially with the fact that it's not on the Play Store, um, because nobody's, you know, that's, it's their app. It's not even, you know, verified except through them. So that, that kind of bugs me a little bit. Um, oh, also, here's another thing. Okay, well, that's where I was. This is, this is where I'm going, or where I am right now, right? Give it a second. This is, this is one thing that, um, you know, I like and I don't. If it's going to come up, may not. It's thinking. And it's still thinking. Oh, yeah, because I have my stuff turned off. That's maybe. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on here. Is that me? Zoom me in, Scotty. Okay, maybe if I change my map style. Because it seems to like the map quest a little bit. Uh, maybe it doesn't. Point is, is, is it, it, it does the same thing that the, uh, the other one does. The uh, Intel that you get, you know, right off your... It, it's a, a mobile um, website, basically. Whenever you hit the zoom button, it automatically zooms in, like, very close to where you are. Like, you know, no matter what, it's going to zoom, zoom way in. So it won't center you in the page. It just goes, boop, and it goes right to where you are. I guess maybe that's why you don't see anything, because there's not anything where I am right now. So... You know, there's the, the, the pros and the cons, the features, um, and the criticisms. There's a whole lot that can be done with these, um, especially, well, with uh, the IITC. Um, but, you know, as of my reading, as of late, um, it is not, you know, it's not, it hasn't been given the go-ahead uh, by Niantic to, to go ahead and, and use this. So use it at your own risk if you want to. And that is the conclusion for my first video. Thanks.